We are going to review the Art Hotel in Salzburg, Austria. This is a relatively new hotel. It just opened in April of 2019, so it's been open for only a couple of months. The hotel uses a lot of concrete, which can make it seem cold. But the light fixture and the other more colorful furniture make the hotel more welcoming. The reception area wasn't too crowded. It took around 10 to 15 minutes to get our keys. I can't help but notice a bowl of croissant. I think they're free. One of the best parts about this hotel is that it's right next to the train and bus station. I'd say it would take me about three minutes to get there. This hotel looks like an office building from the outside, and it so happens that it is also the second tallest building in Salzburg. And we're lucky to get to live on the 13th floor, which is the highest floor for hotel rooms. Here's our room. It's nice to see the little Haribo gummy candy on our bed. They are one of the signature candies of Germany. The room is quite clean, comfortable, minimalistic. I like the wooden floor, which gives it a modern feel. The best part of the hotel room for us is, of course, its stunning view, especially on a sunny day. I love the floor-to-ceiling window. It really gives a lot of natural light to the room, and it makes our stay a lot more pleasant. Unfortunately, the pillows were just a little bit too soft, and they did not have any other pillow options. For people who enjoy tougher pillows, we had to use towels to prop them up. As for most of the hotels in Europe, they don't have a lot of amenities. They only have the shower gel, so we brought along our own shampoo and conditioner. This is the bathroom, which I like. It's quite clean. A lot of people did complain about the fact that the shower glass door is not opaque enough. So you can basically see through the room when you're taking a shower. Because our room is the basic standard original room, we did not have a telephone in our room. So whatever service we needed, we had to go down to the reception to get it. For example, we wanted some hot water. They told us to go to the 14th floor to get the hot water by ourselves, which is okay if you want the cheaper rate. For their more expensive rooms, the studios, they do have a telephone. This room also does not include breakfast. If you want breakfast, you have to pay an extra 20 euros. If you book through some websites, they're not very clear on that, so you may be disappointed to find out that breakfast is not included. We also found a dirty plastic fork in our mini fridge. I guess it is a new hotel, so their cleaning service still needs some tweaking. On the 14th floor, they have a pretty nice rooftop bar called Hugo's 14. They have 14 different mixed drinks that you can try. The staff are all pretty friendly. We did ask one of the receptionists to make a recommendation for a local restaurant. When we got there, it was extremely touristy. The food was terrible, so maybe it is better to do your own research. On the 15th floor, they have a restaurant called gallery where you have breakfast and you also have a really nice panoramic view of the entire city. Our room cost about 120 euros which is about 137 US dollars. Overall we did enjoy this hotel very much mainly because of its convenient location. It is so close to the bus and train station as well as within walking distance from the Mirabel Garden and the old part of the town. We enjoy the minimalistic comfort of the hotel. Despite the lack of service, the rate was reasonable, so we definitely recommend it.